In this video we will understand unit 2 biological basis of behavior. Here we will study neurons, classification and types of neurons, nerve impulse, nervous system, peripheral nervous system and at last role of endocrine glands. Let's start. 1. Introduction. The introduction sets the stage for the topic. The biological basis of behavior. It raises the question of whether we can control all our behavior or if some behaviors are hardwired in our brains. It emphasizes that this unit will explore the biological structures that influence our behavior. It underscores the importance of understanding the links between our biological structures and behavior. 2. Neurons Neurons are the fundamental units of the nervous system. There are three main parts of a neuron, dendrite, cell body, soma, and axon. Dendrites receive nerve impulses from other neurons and send them to the cell body. The cell body contains the nucleus and cytoplasm, and it sends nerve impulses to other neurons through the axon. The axon has end buttons, end brush, and sends nerve impulses received from the cell body to other neurons. 3. Classification and types of neurons. Neurons can be classified based on their function and structure. Function-based classification. Sensory neurons carry impulses from sense organs to the brain and spinal cord. Motor neurons carry impulses from the brain and spinal cord to muscles for a response. Association neurons, interneurons, are found in the brain and spinal cord and process sensory information to decide how to respond. Structure-based classification. Unipolar neurons have one axon that separates into two branches and are involved in sensory functions. Bipolar neurons have one axon and one dendrite with the dendrite opposite the soma and are found in the eye, ear, and olfactory path. Multipolar neurons have one axon and multiple dendrites and are located in the brain and spinal cord. 4. Nerve Impulse Nerve impulses are electrical events that occur in neurons. Neurons have a resting state with a negative charge inside and a positive charge outside. Stimulation disrupts this balance, causing the inside to become positive and the outside negative leading to the generation of an impulse. The impulse travels along the membrane and is transmitted to other neurons via the axon. 5. Nervous System The nervous system is a complex structure that controls all our activities. It comprises the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord, and peripheral nervous system, outside the brain and spinal cord. The central nervous system has two parts, the spinal cord and the brain. The spinal cord runs from the neck to the waist and is a conductor of nerve impulses, relaying sensory information to the brain and motor information to the body. The brain is located within the skull, protected by layers of tissue. It consists of the hindbrain, midbrain, and forebrain. The hindbrain includes the medulla pons, and cerebellum. The medulla connects the brain to the spinal cord and controls vital functions like respiration. The pons regulates sensory and motor functions. The cerebellum coordinates motor activities. The midbrain acts as a bridge between the forebrain and hindbrain and contains structures like the superior and inferior colliculi. The forebrain is the largest and most important part regulating higher functions like thinking, reasoning, memory, and emotion. It includes the thalamus, hypothalamus, and cerebrum. 6. Peripheral Nervous System The peripheral nervous system connects the brain and spinal cord to receptors, effectors, and glands. It is divided into the somatic nervous system, voluntary activities, and the autonomic nervous system, involuntary functions. The somatic nervous system includes cranial and spinal nerves. The autonomic nervous system further divides into the sympathetic, fight or flight, and parasympathetic, 
rest and digest systems which work in coordination to regulate bodily functions 7 role of endocrine glands endocrine glands release hormones into the blood stream to regulate various bodily functions major endocrine glands include the hypothalamus pituitary thyroid parathyroids adrenal glands pancreas testes in males and ovaries in females each gland releases specific hormones that target specific tissues or organs and regulate various functions in the body so here we studied neurons classification and types of neurons nerve impulse nervous system peripheral nervous system and at last role of endocrine glands <laughs>